I'll have a, a meeting with God and I'll give him this blueprint of how everything can be done. And he never goes by my blueprint. I got married at 18. Daryl asked me to marry him. And I don't like disorder. I like order in my life. And I think I took a lot of that into my marriage as well. And so once I got married, if something was, was broken, you, you immediately, you fixed it. You took care of it. And, but with Daryl, if it was broken, it, it could sit there for, for months of Sundays. And that would drive me crazy. It would, it would drive me crazy because I'm like, that's not order. And, I, and a lot of it was probably performance driven is that, you know, he wasn't performing up to my expectation. And our marriage started having some struggles. I started noticing Daryl doing some activity that I just didn't think was right. And I'm trying to figure out what is going on with him. And then I started suspecting he was selling drugs. And I definitely didn't want any part of that lifestyle. And as I'm going through these struggles, I'm crying out to God, just frustrated with my marriage and my life and, and everything that was going on and couldn't figure out, Lord, what is going on with my life? I keep trying to do and trying to, to, to fix or trying to control and realize that, you know, Lord, I'm nothing. I have nothing. I am nothing without you. And that was when I realized that I don't know Jesus. And so I prayed and asked Jesus to come into my life. And Daryl comes and tells me he doesn't want to be married anymore. We eventually divorced and I'm crying out to God, like, God, how could you do this to me? I just give you my life and then, you know, you're supposed to fix everything, but it's falling apart. But God had given me a, a core of women who surrounded me, who would pray for me each Sunday, who walked through that time with me. And again, all of this was so new for me. And uh, during that time, I'm, I'm just growing, just like a, a, a wildflower, just crazy growing. And two years later, God, um, Daryl calls me and say, God has, you know, he's been, he's saved. And I'm like, okay, that's good. And then he started talking about, he believed, you know, God wanted us to reconcile. And it was like a wall went straight up and it was like, nope, I'm, I'm not doing it. I've been through that before. You got me once, you won't get me again. And I wasn't going for that. And, you know, at the same time, God was still, you know, working in my life and showing me some things. And me and God were having our little, you know, battles because I was going to convince him that I was better than Daryl. I, <laughs> no, you, you know, you need to give me somebody better than that because he took me through so much. He sold drugs, he walked out, he did all the bad things. But then God began to show me some of the things that were in my heart the bitterness that I carry, uh, even not respecting him as a man. Things, Daryl didn't grow up with a dad and he didn't understand how to fix stuff. And so I would probably degrade him and say some ugly things and not build him up and that. And God began to show me in my life, you were pretty messed up. Yours were not necessarily external, but you had some internal issues of, of feeling like you were, you're better and they weren't nice things to see, um, you know, inside. But and of course, I tried to play the measuring game, but God, is still, they still weren't as bad as what he did. You know, they, they don't compare. And, and God showed me that I needed Jesus just as much as Daryl, holding that mirror up of my life before me. And I didn't want to see that. I wanted to see that he was all bad and there was a lot more good in me. And, and God was able to show me, no, you know, here, here is where you are. And uh, it, it, it was hard because, you know, the enemy was, you know, bringing up all of, all of the dirt and all of the things. But uh, God just, he kept just reminding, you know, me of his forgiveness and, um, and how, you know, he loved me in spite of me. And so I, I began to really surrender and, and give that over to God and ask God, Lord, well, you have to help my heart change toward him. And eventually, you know, God did restore our marriage. And, you know, I think that was the best decision that I ever made was to forgive because God has truly honored that in both of our lives. My new saying for me is uh, <laughs> the sin in me is the Gwen in me. And I've had to overcome me that was strictly the God in me that took Daryl back because Gwen said no. I had to trust God 
with my life and who I am. I had to give it over to him. I had to surrender it all. Allowing God to be God, I'm gonna let you handle your business. You know, because then when he does it, then I look back and it's always like, oh God, that's what you were doing. It makes sense now. I wasn't even gonna do it this way and it turned out so great, you know, and realize that I can truly trust in the Lord uh, and that, that God has my back, that he's, he's gonna take care of me.